Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Uh, here again with another couple of weeks of wax empties and first melts. Um, I don't think I'm intending to change this to a fortnightly thing. It's just been the last couple of weeks. It's just been how it's happened. Um, I do have a bit to get through because I did melt a few new things over the last fortnight. So um, yeah, well, I suppose we should get stuck straight into it. Uh, I'll do the empties first as usual. So the first thing that I finished was this from K, Coconut Water and Pineapple. I actually blended it with some of this, so Rustic Woods and Rum, which is a sandalwood rum, tobacco and spice. I didn't like this Rustic Woods and Rum scent on its own. It has a very, I like the kind of spice scent, but it has this really kind of dirty tobacco smell, which I didn't love. Um, so I didn't, I was just kind of hoping to sweeten it up, make it a bit more tropical. And it, it actually worked. Like I wouldn't say it was an amazing blend, but it was definitely good. This one, the coconut water and pineapple, when I've melted it previously, it was pretty light. So I was kind of hoping it would just like brighten up this blend without being too much. And that's, that's what I got. So it was actually kind of nice. Like definitely the fruity elements kind of softened the sort of the dirty elements. I don't know. That's probably not the best way to describe it, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm just trying to make some space over here. Um, my work desk is not the tidiest at the moment. Um, yeah, so look, it was a good combo. I wouldn't do it again. I don't need either of these scents again, but I enjoyed that combo. Uh, Super Tarts Good Grief. So this is uh, Christmas Tree Red Apple Winter Rose Cinnamon Basil. This I've enjoyed. It's a really pretty kind of complex. It's herbal. It's got sweetness. It's got like a bit of a pretty kind of lift from the rose. It's just a really lovely scent. Like, there's nothing else out there like it. I've not encountered any other scents like this. So I enjoy it. I have another clamshell of it. Possibly would get it again. I don't melt it a huge amount, but when I do melt it, I enjoy it. So, uh, I finished another bag of Cafe Cubano spiced oat milk. So this one just, I talk about it all the time. It's a staple. Warm, comforting hug, like one of my favorite scents to melt in the morning. It's just delicious. It's creamy. It's not really coffee-like. I know it's got kind of coffee notes, but to me it's more, I don't know, it's like an oat milk with spices. It's, it's exactly what it says. So I love it. Always throws well. Always will be a repurchase. It's one of those weird ones that keeps coming up in the videos because I just, I bought a... Uh, Bunts, and now I think when I'm finished the bunts, I have Bitty Betty loaves. Like, I've just never bought like a big thing of it, but I've bought multiple little things. This is uh, label full foliage. So, this is uh, dew, leaves, uh, crackling fire, and outdoor air. This has been one of my favorites from Dessas for a long time. It is one of my favorite, like, autumnal outdoorsy scents. It's just this really perfect combo of kind of smokiness, like, you know, real crackling fire, leaves, just the whole shebang, like being outside, cabin in the woods. This scent gets it more than just about anything else I've tried. It always throws well. It always smells good. Like, it's just an absolute staple for me. So I will get some more. Um, if it comes up in the next pre-order, maybe I'll grab some. Um, yeah, because I tend to go through, like, a shape of it a year. Uh, Empire Alchemy Haunted Woods. So this was frankincense, spruce tree, apple peel, oak moss, cashmere, woods, and tonka bean. Pretty scent, not much throw, unfortunately. I think I got like a light frankincense from it and maybe a touch of the apple peel. Like, it, 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 there was a nice scent there, but it was very light. It's a shame that it smells so good, like the trees and the moss, and it's one of those really beautiful complex scents that Empire Alchemy does. But yeah, just the stuff that I got in August last year just did not perform very well. I know a lot of people have issues with the throw with Empire Alchemy, and I have had as issues with the throw as well. But it seems to vary, and it's weird because it doesn't seem to vary by scent. It seems to vary by, like, batch or release. So sometimes I'll get things from certain releases and... They'll last a really long time and they'll throw really well. And then I'll do another pre-order and other scents that I've had before. Not that this one is one of those, but I've scents I've had before. And everything just doesn't throw well. And I just don't quite understand it. Maybe it's a temperature thing, consistency. I, I don't quite understand it. But that's what it might be my experience, unfortunately, with Empire Alchemy. Um, 
And so the stuff that I got in the last order that I did, which was like August last year, that was, yeah, a bit of an issue with everything I got. Uh, Parla Santo Vanilla Butter Fudge from L3. Love this. I've done this combo from Dessa's Homespun Sense. I've done this combo a few different places and ways. It is always good if you like Palo Santo and Bakery. Vanilla Butter Fudge, it's so simple, but it just works. Like, it gives you creamy, it gives you bakery, it gives you slightly bready. Like, it's a really good bakery scent for Palo Santo. So I definitely would get more of this. It's been one of my favorites. It throws really well. Uh, Dessa's, again, Pirate, Vo Pirate Voyage. So this is Pirates of the Caribbean inspired. Sea spray, aged wood, cannon smoke, musty water. Um... I really enjoy this. I swear the scent notes in it are very reminiscent of something else. Like, I feel like I scent smelled them in something else. I don't know if it was a Dessa scent or someone else's, but... Mm. It's really got the mustiness in there, but in a good way. Like, musty wood. Yeah. So, I, I enjoy this one. I would possibly get it again. Like, it is an enjoyable scent, but it is always very familiar when I melt it. But I haven't quite figured out what it is. Uh, L3 Pine Sugared Shortbread Whipped Cream Vanilla Birch. This one's okay. Like, I do love me a good pine bakery scent. This one is maybe not my favourite. I don't know if it's the Vanilla Birch or the Whipped Cream. Something in here just doesn't quite... I think it is the Whipped Cream and the Vanilla Birch. The two of them together. If it was pine and sugared shortbread, I would probably enjoy that more on its own. So yeah, it's good, but it's just not as good as my other pine bakery scents. Medium kind of throw. It's all right, but I don't need to get it again. Uh, Savannah Blue Vanilla Lace. So just the vanilla lace scent. Uh, vanilla and spicy musk. Really pretty, kind of medium throw. Vanilla Lace, probably not something I need. To, I like melting on its own, but I don't mind it in a blend. It's, blend. it's a little bit sickly for me on its own, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, L3... Uh, Palo Santo Beach Nights and Vanilla Balsam. I've really enjoyed this one. Um, the Beach Nights, I talk about it all the time from L3. I really enjoy it because it's not your typical Beach Nights. It's more sea salty. And I really like that saltiness with Vanilla Balsam. I love, I really enjoy Vanilla Balsam with beachy scents. And then the Palo Santo, just a little bit of kind of woodsiness. Really, really good. So this was a really good combo. I would get it again. It threw really well. Like, it. it's just good. Uh, Black Chamomile Amber and Santal from L3. This was from like a sampler. Not bad. Um, mostly Black Chamomile. Like, I just don't get much from Santal scents, unfortunately. The Black Chamomile is nice and a bit of a hint of amber. Like, it's not a bad scent. Kind of earthy. Earthy and feminine, I suppose. Um, so not bad, but not like amazing. Through okay. It didn't really grab me, you know. I don't think I need to get it again. Uh, Jason Sleepover from Britta's Creepy Treasures. This is Ozark Forest French Lavender Fire Roasted Marshmallow. It's not terrible, but the Ozark Forest is really overwhelming. I do find that Ozark Forest is just a very, very strong scent. I find it's a really difficult one to blend with. I don't know if I've really experienced many vendors who have blended with it well. Um... And this one, yeah, so I just don't, I, I can tell when I smell it and when it melted that there was more stuff than just Ozark Forest, but it still just smelled like Ozark Forest, you know? So yeah, not something I would get again. Uh, sugared Apples Palo Santo Toasted Mallow. Uh, didn't love this scent. The Sugared Apples, I've, I've had it before and I've enjoyed it, but um, in here it just smelled very perfume like it's a very perfumed apple scent and so yeah i don't know the parlor was okay with it but it was quite sweet and perfume like just didn't love it you know so it was okay it threw well but i wouldn't get that one again uh sweet revenge from britta's creepy treasures this is pumpkin pecan waffles blue sugar and palo santo i enjoyed this but this last time i melted it it didn't throw like at all i don't know it was poured june last year so like not even 18 months old. I was surprised. Britta's normally lasts. But this one didn't. And I know because I was melting the same blend from L3. Uh, so Palo Santo, Blue Sugar, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. And when I first got both of these, they were both pretty equally strong. In fact, I think the Britta's were slightly stronger. But this time around, the L3 one threw really well. And the Britta's one didn't. So I don't know what happened there. 
Um, but yeah, I love I do love this combo. It's a really delicious Palo Santo Bakery combo. The Brita and the L3, they are different. Like, they're very similar, but they are different oils, so different does come out kind of differently. Um, I... Look, I'd get either of them again, but I think it's more likely that I will get the L3 version just because one, it lasted longer, and two, it's just I order from L3 a lot more. Really sad to be finished this one, Jenny of Old Stones. So, uh, Oak Moss and Amber Tonka and Oud and Warm Vanilla Sugar from K. This was my custom, and I just adored it. Like, I just love Tonka and Oud, and this, this was the perfect combo. Um, it The Tonka and Oud and the Warm Vanilla Sugar, I kind of took that from... I really enjoy that combo in Teddy Bear's Khaleesi, but instead of going kind of the warm, smoky direction that she did, I wanted to go in like a mossy kind of direction. So that's where this blend came from. I don't know why I didn't order more when I did my recent K order, because I'm only kind of ordering once a year. I feel like I might have to go back in and just get another bag of this, um, because it has been one of my favourite scents. Like, it just smells so freaking good, and it throws really well. Um, oh, one more empty. Uh, this L3 scoopable, so pink sugar palo santo boardwalk mellow clouds. This one's okay. It's not anything that I've been like crazy about. Um, the, I feel like the palo santo does not really come through here. It's mostly like a pink sugar boardwalk mellow clouds blend, which is okay, but not, I, I would have preferred more woodiness in it. So yeah, fine, but nothing special. Through well, but I wouldn't get it again. All right. So onto the um, first melt stuff. So I can't actually remember. I feel like maybe I've done this combo before, but I couldn't remember. So I'll talk about it anyway. Uh, so scoopable carbs, which is dunk my donut, royal sugar cookie, and fresh baked bread. I blend it with strawberry pound cake. Um, I really enjoy carbs. I can't. Remember. I used to be a carbs hater. I really used to dislike the carb scent, and now I love it. So in uh, any bakery, it's good with strawberry bakery. I think last time I did it with fresh picked strawberries, and I think I prefer it a little bit more with strawberry pound cake, even though the scoopable slash rose girl strawberry pound cake is not my favorite strawberry pound cake, but it's still good in blends. So enjoyed that combo, really good. I would do it again. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get the scoopable slash rose girl strawberry pound cake again, uh, but I would definitely get carbs again. I've had this one before, but this was the first time doing this scoop. Vanilla butterfudge zucchini bread cupcakes at Tiffany's. Delicious, really just rich, amazing bakery. I know it's a, like a, I don't know if it's intentional, but it's this sort of similar blend as um, Martha Stewart from VCS. I don't think it comes out exactly the same. I actually think I, I like it a bit more. The, I don't often like cupcakes at Tiffany's, but here it just adds a little bit of richness, but really this is a vanilla butter fudge zucchini bread scent. So I love it. It throws well. I would get that one again. Alien versus Casper from Super Tart. So this is apple cider, vanilla bean, donuts, toasted marshmallows, cornbread, and Mexican fried ice cream. I, I like this one. Um, Alien, the apple scent, cider scent in this, gets this kind of soapy tone that I don't love in on its own and I can smell it here cold but warmed up it's just a nice kind of light bakery apple scent nothing like that I'm crazy about but it's pretty good hang on a sec it's daytime so I have to pair it <laughs> uh I can't remember what I was saying about this anyway Alien Casper is good um I've enjoyed it I possibly would repair repurchase it but I don't love Alien and Casper on their own I just like them together I can't believe I haven't melted this one before. Super Tarts Fire Orchid. I think it was Susan in the previous names. Uh, chocolate Orchid Campfire Sponge Sugar Buttercream and Mellow Fluff. It's really sweet, but I just... Chocolate Orchid and is just a really nice, hard to kind of pin down scent. This one I found like the sponge sugar and the buttercream came out a lot first and the Mellow Fluff, so I feel like it was really sweet at first and I was a little bit like, oh, I don't know. But then it settled and more of the campfire, which is kind of smoky, but not super smoky. More of that came through and um, the chocolate orchid as well. So I really enjoyed it. I don't know. Um, I thought I picked an opportune time. Everyone was kind of just doing their own thing in the house. Like we've just been out for the day. We got home. Everyone was doing their own thing. Um, so I thought it was a good time to film. But now everyone is... Hang on. 
Anyway, so yeah, good scent, possibly would repurchase. Uh, I'm going to talk about this one even though I have melted it for, but just because this will be the last time I melt it. So Teddy Bee's Wax Snob. Uh, pink Pepper Sandalwood, Sweet Citrus Pear, Hint of Peach, and Sensual Wool. Vanilla. Uh, I just don't like this. It's a really sickly sweet floral note. In, oh, I think it's a fruity, kind of fruity floral thing in here that just gives me a really bad headache. I thought that it happened the first time, but I wasn't 100% sure. But the second time I had it up here in my office and... After, like, I was in here with it for, like, 45 minutes and I had to leave the office. Like, I just couldn't. It smells pretty, but nothing that I'm, like, crazy about. But, yeah, I just didn't. I can't melt it. So I'm going to pop it up there because that's where my de-stash wax goes. Uh, pumpkin parcel, Egypt. I think it's Egyptian cotton or Egyptian musk. I can't remember. Oak moss palo santo. I love this and this was so freaking strong. I couldn't even describe to you. You get a lot of oak moss. It's very kind of green and mossy, but the Egyptian scent, like I just love those Egyptian, Egyptian cotton, Egyptian musk, love them all. And her parlor was quite different, I think, to what you get overseas or in the US, but so I haven't used it too much, but this blend is just, it's kind of green and incensey and mossy and I don't know. It's just fantastic. I definitely will get a much bigger tub of this because, and this, I could not believe. This was like in my bedroom and it was like blasting out. It's probably one of the strongest scents I've ever had from Pumpkin Parcel. So I loved that one. I did donut holes with vanilla crunch donuts and meant to be. Um, I don't know why because I knew this from last time I had donut holes. I can't. These two scents, Vanilla Crunch Donuts and Donut Holes, I can't smell when they melt. I don't understand. I know they're really popular scents, but they just do nothing for me. And if I blend them, they water down whatever I blend them with. Like This one smells strongly like cinnamony donut kind of thing, I guess. Not fully cinnamon, but yeah. But then the Vanilla Crunch Donut just kind of smells like vaguely bakery vanilla, but... In combos, because meant to be is usually pretty strong, and it's a really lovely strawberry, blackberry, mango sorbet. Like, it's a great fruity scent. But when I mixed it with those, it was just a very light fruity scent. I got nothing else. So, definitely the donut scents, vanilla crunch donuts, donut holes, I just don't want to use. Uh, meant to be is great, though. So, I definitely would get that one again. Tea time tarts, strawberries and cigarettes after sex, strawberry pound cake, white birch smoked vanilla lace. I love this one. It's such a unique and just gorgeous combo. It throws well. Oh, the smokiness and the kind of just girly sweetness and the smoked vanilla lace becomes like a strawberry smoked vanilla lace. It's so good. I just love it. Um, I definitely would get this one again. I have had it before. Um, it's a really, really gorgeous scent. Uh, the Hoodie Heist from Rose Girls. So this is Flannel Shaving Cream, Vanilla Sandalwood, Palo Santo, Fresh Air and Balsam. I think this is a popular one and this is the first time I've tried it and I can see why. I did enjoy it. It did throw quite well. Um, yeah, this one's like... It's got vanilla balsam vibes because it's got vanilla and then... Well, it's got vanilla and it's got balsam, but... The masculine notes in here work really well. Like, it's just a really well-balanced, really nice blend. And because it's a vanilla sandalwood rather than just a straight-up vanilla balsam, like it's balsam and vanilla sandalwood, it just... It's different enough that it's good. So I really enjoyed this one. I definitely would get that one again. Uh, back roads from Rose Girls. I did do a few of the new Rose Girls scents, I think. Because this is two weeks worth. Not this week, because this week's actually been pretty warm, and it's actually quite warm today. But the week before was really cold. That's the thing. October is just the most the month of the most extreme weather changes ever. So I was melting full-on autumn winter stuff a couple of weeks ago, and now I'm melting full-on summer. Bergamot ginger, vetiver pine. I enjoyed this. It was a bit more of a subtle scent. I'd say it was a medium. Um, but it was nice. It was warm. It was cosy. It reminded me a bit of steel sugar, like it is different, but the ginger kind of notes with the vetiver and stuff, like there's definitely a relationship there to um, to steel sugar. Um, so yeah, I I enjoyed it. 
Uh, I don't know if that one's a repurchase, just because I would have liked it to be a bit stronger, but it was still really good. Uh, zucchini bread caramel apple cinnamon sugar from L3. I love this so much. I think when we had a cold morning a little while ago, only last week, again, the weather's been so up and down. I melted this and it was just, no, it's Halloween morning. I melted this on Halloween morning, which, yes, was seven days ago today. Um, and it's just the perfect apple spooky kind of scent, like, warm rich delicious like absolute favorite i could you i could go through i'm trying not to buy loaves but i could go through a loaf of this one easily like it's just so good um so yeah great throw definitely would repurchase that one uh k on blueberry hill um for some reason my phone keeps telling me that it can't connect to my headphones and i'm not trying to connect to my headphones anyway uh, vanilla butter fudge, blueberry cobbler, and bikini bread. Uh, this was good. Um, it's very strongly blueberry cobbler. I would say the blueberry cobbler is maybe overwhelming. I would have liked a bit more zucchini bread and vanilla butter fudge to come through, but it was still good. I still smelled them a little bit. And blueberry cobbler is just a really good set. So maybe a bit more cure time. We'll kind of, you know, get this one to come around a bit. But right now it's a like, but not a love. Good throw, though. King Triton from Rose Girls. Uh, ocean, Oudwood, Sea Salt, Patchouli, Vetiver, Sea Kelp, and Indonesian Amber. Uh, I like this one. It is very oceanic. But it, it does have more to it than that. And definitely I can smell more than when it first arrived. I can smell more of the oud and the patchouli and the amber and stuff. When it first arrived, I was like straight up ocean. But when it melted, it was very oceanic. Like, it's definitely more complex. Like, it's kind of an ocean cologne. Uh, I liked it. Maybe not loved it. I don't know if it's a repurchase. It did throw pretty well. I also did someone say strawberries from Rose Girls. So, fresh big strawberries, strawberry white cake, and strawberry pound cake. Look, this one was always a bit of a gamble. Um, because I'm always so hit and miss with the artificial strawberry scents. But I thought... The Fresh Pick Strawberries and Strawberry Pound Cake, I do enjoy those in other blends. I wasn't sure about Strawberry White Cake. When it was first melting down, I was like, oh yeah, this is okay. I left the room for a bit, came back, and I was just overwhelmed by just this sickly, artificial strawberryness that I just did not love. So, on its own, not a huge fan. Um, I do think I could have it melt blended, though. So, I will keep using it for blending. I think with a good, strong bakery... With just a hint of this, I think it would be nice because I think it would dial down those elements that I didn't love. So, yeah, not my kind of thing, um, but will work for blending, I would say. It doesn't have the really chemically strawberry scent that I don't like, so that was a plus at least. I did this Crackling Blackberry Birch from K. This is Vanilla Birch, Blackberry Sage, Crackling Birch. I melted it with some roasted pine cones which is crisp pine, sandalwood, vanilla, and a hint of berry. Uh, I did it because the crackling birch, blackberry birch, is a custom that did not turn out well for me. Like, the blackberry sage is just a very strong kind of herbaceous and also really strong, like, aged sort of blackberry scent. I just don't love that. Uh, so I do need to tone it down. Um, and the roasted pine cones did a pretty good job of that. I would say it still wasn't amazing. I still would have liked roasted pine cones either on its own or with something else better. But, I mean, I think I might just give up on the crackling blackberry, blackberry birch and send it to someone who might like it more because I just haven't loved it. But I thought I'd, I'd see if I'd try and redeem it with one of my favourite scents because roasted pine cones absolutely is one of my favourite scents. So it didn't quite get there, but it was still not bad. Uh, also K, I did, a, like I said, I did a fair bit of new stuff melting. Uh, Rosso Pine Cones Beach Nights Bonfire Bliss. Really good. I do think it needs to sit and cure a bit longer. Because I mostly smelled roasted pine cones. I didn't really, what I wanted was that kind of smoky bonfire bliss and some, like, the, just the beachy beach night scent. I could get, a, like, hints of them, but I just feel like... They should be stronger, and I just have this feeling that with some cure time, they will get there. So, like, this was ordered in August, would have been poured in late August, it's now November. Like, it's been a few months, but occasionally I find with a K Custom, it needs, like, six months. Not always. 
and not for throw. I find that it throw after a month of cure time, it throws. But what I sometimes find is to get the scent profile where you want it, some of the customs do need that extra time. But you sort of have to try it first to know whether that's going to be the case or not, because it's not always the case. Uh, Rose Girl Caramel, uh, Blackberry Caramel Apple, Sticky Caramel Apples and Juicy Blackberry. I, I did this one on Halloween as well. Loved it. Again, I do just love a really good caramel apple scent and the juicy blackberry in here just livened it all up it was a perfect halloween scent like just really like fun fruity but not like over the top fruity like just really really good i would definitely get that one again it was really strong as well weekend with papa from teddy bees i have had this before but i just cracked open a new one Salty Sea Air, Vanilla Bean Noel, Toasted Marshmallows blended with Roasted Pine Cones. It is the Roasted Pine Cones that makes this blend what it is. Salty Sea Air with Roasted Pine Cones. It's so good. Roasted Pine Cones is one of my absolute favourites at the moment. Like, can't get enough of it. I, I feel like I could wear myself out on it, so I do have to be careful, particularly because um, it wasn't at K before, and now it is. Or maybe it was, but I just didn't know. Um, and it definitely... I didn't know L3 had it until recently, so uh, I started to get a lot more roasted pine cones. Previously, I think Teddy B's and maybe some Dessa's blends were the only places I was sort of picking it up. Uh, pink Cotton and Turquoise Waters from Teddy B's. Pink Sugar Fresh Cotton Sea Spray Beach Grass Ocean Waves. I don't know. I'll have to let this one sit longer for some reason. I don't, this one didn't throw, and I did go in and check, so I don't know what happened. Um, had it in the bedrooms, I didn't smell anything, so I don't know, maybe I, I was having an off day. Uh, L3, Palo Santo, Roasted Pine Cone, see, Smoked Vanilla and Vanilla Bean Noel. This one also, I think, needs to sit. It also is an August blend, maybe even September, um, but I didn't get much from this. It smells so good, but yeah, so I'm going to let that one sit because that should be a blend that I love. I reckon next autumn, um, that one, whoosh, fingers crossed, should be ready to go. And the last thing I have this week is Above the Cheap Cheap Seas, which is Salty Sea Air, Coastal Chaos, Satsuma, Sun and Sand. Didn't like it. Um, I don't love that Coastal Kale Satsuma combo. Is it like speechless? It's really harsh and abrasive, I find. Um, and then just the salty ocean air. I don't know, everything in here, it's just... Just this sharp, salty, citrusy, no kind of reprieve. I don't know, because I like salty, citrusy scents, but this one just does not do it for me. So I wouldn't get that one again. That's it. That's everything I melted over the last couple of weeks. Um, hopefully it doesn't take me two weeks to make the next one. Life has just been busy, so I can't. I don't know. Um, I will still. I'll, I will still be making videos. Um, so if, if you see me and there's a gap, there will be a video. It's just yeah, um, fitting things in at the moment. Um, yeah. So I hope you're all doing really well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.